right, we're back here. Uh, let me pan this down just a little bit. All right, this last little set, sliver says describe and diagram J.J. Thompson's model of the atom. All right, J.J. Thompson, he, he was an interesting man. He had two names that he came up for his, his model. One was the plum pudding model, and one is the raisin dough model. Now, that sounds disgusting to me. In fact, let's just do a little something since I'm just killing your time anyway, right? For all of you that care, let's see here. I found some plum pudding recipe just so you'll know exactly uh, what we're talking about. Superb English plum pudding. One pound seedless raisin, one pound sultan raisins, one half pound currants, one cup thinly sliced citron, one cup chopped candy peel, <laughs> one teaspoon cinnamon, a half teaspoon of mace. This is sounding so good. One quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, whatever that is. Isn't that what you put on after you shave? One quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. <laughs> this is sick. Um, one pound finely chopped suet powder fine, whatever that is. And one and one cup, oh, I don't know if I can say that, but cognac. Uh, and that's just the fruit mixture. Interesting, I never saw plums in there. Um, oh, well. Pudding. We got a half. Why do I care? Why do you care? I don't know. But, boy, that sounds disgusting. Um, but there it is. I wish I could get a picture of this pretty plum pudding. Um, no. Oh, well, I tried. So that's plum pudding. Now, what you need to think about for plum pudding, just think about this bowl, and we're going to look down from in the top at it. All right, so pretend that that's a circle. All right, so it's no different than the rest of them so far. It's just a circle. Now, inside this circle, it's real blue. Inside this circle, you have little plums. Okay, they're just hanging out in the pudding. Pudding. What would you call that? I don't know. The liquid. We'd call that the solvent, I guess, if the pudding was going to dissolve the plums. This is getting grosser by the moment. It must be the, the time of night. Alright, so here's the plums. The blue are the plums. Alright, then there was stuff that surrounded them. And let's just, for fun, because it's all I have, we'll say that this stuff that surrounded them was roughly yellow. Hmm, that sounds good. Hmm. Look at that beautiful plum pudding. Oh, if I remember right, this doesn't work. It just shows you black and white, but oh well. So now, here we are. We have our plum pudding model, and it consists of two main things. This yellow goo, all right, and then these plums. J.J. Thompson came up with the idea that the plums represented the negatively charged electrons that he had discovered, and he knew that all atoms were neutral, so if they had negative, then they must have some sort of positive charge as well. All right, so this positive, or this goo, I should say, that I've colored yellow, sort of, was just this, like, surrounding cloud of positivity. All right, so this is J.J. Thompson's model of the atom. On your test, you have to know that it's called the plum pudding model or raisin bread. And raisin bread, it's just kind of the same theory. Try and draw a piece of bread. <laughs> I'm the worst artist ever born. Uh, but imagine here are the raisins just hanging out in bread. All right, the raisins would be negatively charged. All right, and the bread itself would be positively surrounding it. That is J.J. Thompson's draw those pictures. 